Hi, hello everyone. I'm John Garcia. First of all, I want to thank Andescon 2020 for allowing me to make this presentation at this Congress. Thank you. Here is my work. A self-tuning PAD controller design based on fossil logic for nonlinear chemical processes. What's new? Well, that's the question. This work proposes a new intelligent PAD controller based on fossil logic, the FSMART PAD controller, able to work as well in linear and nonlinear process conditions. As we can observe in this figure, the conventional PAD controller is unable to control this particular highly nonlinear system. And for the same system, the FSMART PAD provides uh, good control performance without any oscillation and guarantee the stability of the control system for all process conditions. Let's see how it was developed. Equation 2 is the PAD controller equation used in this work to avoid undesired drastic changes on the manipulated variable for set point changes without affecting the good control performance. The Dalin tuning equation are used to tune the PAD controller in this work. Let's talk about the FSMART PAD. This controller consists of three components, a conventional PAD controller, an intelligent system which is a fossil filter where the closed loop time constant is determined based on the error signal and finally an updating module where the controller gain is calculated in time using the Dalin equation and send this value to the PAD controller. The fossil filter module consists of two fossil inference systems. The FF1 Design it to increase the closed loop time constant when required and FF2 to decrease it when it is also required. A volume logic algorithm and a weighted factor help FF1 and FF2 to avoid a slow responses for linear and nonlinear conditions. Finally, four scaling factors are uh, used to adapt the FSMR PAD. To the process. FF1 was designed to reduce the controller aggressiveness by increasing the closed loop time constant. Uh, blue lines represent the regions where FF1 acts. In those regions, the error and each change have the same sign, above and below the set point. Here we have for the FF1 the Baxter rules, membership functions, and the fossil surface generated to increase the closed loop time constant when the error and it change have the same sign. FF2 was designed to avoid a slow responses by decreasing the closed loop time constant. Red lines represent the regions where FF2 acts. There, the error signal and each change have different signs above and below the set point. This slide shows the FF2 Bexir rules, membership functions, and the fossil surface generated to decrease the closed loop time constant when the error and each change have different signs. The highly nonlinear system to test the F Smart PAD control performance is the mixing tank shown in the figure. A hot and a cold water streams are entering the tank with a constant liquid volume. The outlet temperature measured at 38.1 meters downstream from the tank is the control variable. This long, this long pipe provides a large and variable process at the time and the cold water flow is the manipulated variable. Finally, this table shows the process disturbances and set point changes for testing. Uh, changing the initial conditions to a highly nonlinear system and then returning to the initial values 
prove the efficiency of the FSMR PD controller. This figure shows the control performance provided by the conventional PAD controller, the IMC controller specially tuned for this process, and from the FSMR PAD controller proposed in this work. As you can see, the PAD controller and the IMC controller report stability problems, while the FSMR PAD presents an outstanding control performance, avoiding undesired oscillations and maintaining the stability of the control system for all process operation conditions. This slide shows the FOSI filter module contribution to face the temperature disturbance occur at 200 minutes. Well, this is the way how the FOSI filter module increase and decrease the closed loop time constant in order to avoid undesired oscillation and also to avoid slow responses. On figure A, we can observe how the closed loop time constant is varying in time for the whole set of process disturbances and set point changes. This is the FOSI closed loop time constant. And on figure B, we observe the FOSI controller gain for the FSMR PAD compared to the constant controller gain for the PAD. Let's talk about the manipulated variable. The signal from the PAD controller and from the MC controller present too much oscillations dealing with highly nonlinear conditions. That means poor control performance, but it also uh, could harm the valve. The signal from the FSMR PAD is a very clear signal without any oscillations, providing safety operating conditions for the valve presenting good control performance. This particular figure shows how the process dead time is changing with the exit flow when using the FSMR PAD controller. And this figure shows that the noise practically does not affect the good control performance of the FSMR PAD controller. This figure shows the PAD, the IMC, and the FSMR PAD control performance for repetitive cycles. We can see how the PAD controller is unable to control this process in most of nonlinear conditions, the AMC under highly nonlinear conditions, and the FSMR PAD overcomes stability problems, presenting good control performance in all process operation conditions and maintaining its robustness in time. Conclusions. Using Fossilogy to update in time the PAD controller gain for optimal control performance is possible. The FSMR PAD guarantees the control loop stability in extremely nonlinear conditions and maintains outstanding control performance in all process operating conditions. The outstanding results suggest developing a set of tuning equations for the scaling factors to adapt the FSMR PAD to any chemical process. And finally, application of the SMR PAD concept should be directed towards to medicine, environmental, electrical, and mechanical systems, among others. Thank you.